Some of you have been asking for free to play teams to farm domains. In this video I'm not going to show you one team, but two free to play teams to farm stage 5 frost domain from the early stages. Hello guys, so we have here frost domain and I'm going to show you the first team I have for stage 5, only epics and rares. Um, I'm using three, two, three rares, okay, it's the same DPS, the same guys for the, the both themes. So this is the first team I have to show you guys. So it's three DPS, I'm sorry. So I'm in the test server and I can't really reset the level, so they are still 100. And some of the artifacts are 220, but that should be fine if you have 16. I tried as much as possible to not overpower these characters. So as you guys can see, I'm not using the second gem on all of them. This is also 20, this is also 20, but it's still 90. This one is fine. This one has, uh, is still 90 with 16 and this one is ni oh, 20 as well. Okay, this one doesn't, will not make any difference. But this one, of course, is going to have a little bit of more damage. 20% uh, more damage bonus and also here. But... I think this should be fine if you are just doing this at level 90 with artifacts on 16, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys the both themes. So the first one is this one, okay? We have Karius, he's gonna be the tank and the healer. And he has a full, a full tank gear with HP on both, but you can use, I'm not sure why I'm using HP, you can use, this is not the best gear. So just gonna change this for defense. Okay, one defense, another HP, or if you want both defense percentage just to increase his healing because his ultimate is based on defense percentage. So he's gonna be our main healer and main tank. Then we have this guy Brody with some accuracy. Is He has some attack percentage here, attack percentage here because he's gonna be the off tank. So Garry's will do, will gonna help him tank doing the tank job. So he's not going to take so much damage. I don't have any scrolls on him and you don't need it as well. And then I have these three guys. So they are the last, less important here. Um, so you can replace them for any other three damage characters you have. The best ones you have you and you can use um, besides ice and poison. Just not ice or poison because those are the ones that take more damage and do less damage in this dungeon. Otherwise... Three characters from Fire Radiance or Lightning Crosses will be fine. But I'm using three rares just to show you guys that you can do this easily if you use a different three DPS. So as I, you guys saw, I'm using the Manticore, then attack percentage here, crit rate, uh, some attack on this gem. And then same thing here. Uh, if you are, at least if you have attack percentage here and crit rate here will be the, the main goal of your gear. And then two sets, one with crit rate, the one one gives me more skill heist. And then this one, she's the best DPS here. She does a, a really good damage for a rare character. And she has a crit damage here and some attack percentage and crit rate. That's what your goal, to have attack percentage on this one and crit rate on this one, it's the most important. It increases a lot your damage. And then of course, you want to aim for at least 140 accuracy because I want to dispel the shield from this boss so this guy can dispel the shield there, there's another one on the fire or lightning crosses yeah elements that can dispel shields as well I'm gonna show you guys so will be this one okay this one can do it as well and there's another one can do it as well but this it's with the battle skill so I can't control it so I just save one timing and that one timing, yeah, it doesn't, this is too much complicated, just 12.2 for the first skill casting time and then 18. Since he's using the that artifact, the incense burner is going to is going to reduce, okay, it's taking 21.2 seconds to cast his ultimate. With this uh, with this artifact, it's gonna take less than that, and probably less than 18 seconds. So that's why I came here. And I adjusted the timings to 18 skill casting interval because that's how much this boss takes to cast these skills. And I just and make sure to activate this one, separate timings for continuous stages because I want him to dispel to use ultimate 
to dispel the shield of this boss. Okay, pretty easy. After this, you can use the yeah use the defense percentage aura because these guys, some of them, they do a little bit of damage, and we only have Garyu's healing, so you should be fine with defense percentage, especially with this team. Uh, you, you're not gonna have much problems. So let's watch the fight. So this is the first stage. You can let this on auto mode. As you guys can see, that rare character does insane damage. She's really good. And then this guy is also good doing damage. The other one, the, the middle one, is the one doing less damage. But as I said, these three can be replaced for any other stronger DPS that you have. You don't really need to use these ones, you can use the stronger ones you can, uh, that you have. And just don't use any ice or poison because they're not going to be that useful on this domain. So the first wave is done. We have the second one. And she'll be fine as well. One of the characters uh, behind, they do some damage. But with our um, Garius, we are safe because he keeps healing everyone and his area of healing is all over all the battlefield so it helps a lot they take a little bit more on this one and our off tank gets a little bit low hp but yeah our gary is going to heal him back and there you go again nice damage okay now we go to the boss and the sh the trick to dispel the shield it's really important here because it's gonna reduce a lot the time we take to do this boss so we have the timing so we should be fine it's going to remove right now the shield there you go no shield to anyone and he's going to keep casting this every 18 seconds. So every round is going to dispel the shield. This guy is really important here. As I said, if you have the other one, the lightning one, you can use it as well to dispel the shield. It's really important, but the thing is, this guy is gonna be important as well for the second build I have to show you guys, because he's going to be the main tank on the second build I'm going to show you. And the second build is mostly for those people that don't have, they are not lucky enough to have Garius, this amazing character that helps a lot. And with Garius, there's a lot of stages that he makes it much easier to do and to farm because, yeah, he can play, replace two roles. He can be a tank and a healer as well. So that helps a lot to do other stages with him. So we still take a little bit, but as I said, use your stronger DPSs. I'm sure that you have stronger than this three here. Maybe already got some legendaries that gonna do. They are gonna do much more damage than these ones. Okay, so there you go. This is was the first team, and they took two minutes and fifty. So next team. I have to show you guys is this one so there's no garries here different position okay and i had to do some changes on the gear so these two have the same gear but this one i had to replace so i had to replace this one because this my i don't want this one to die the, this one i don't want this one to die neither so i swapped her with this guy percival and i give him more hp okay because the the guy here is taking more damage so with the HP is not gonna die. He's level 90 and he, this doesn't give more HP so you should be able to do this as well. And then I have Katarina, she's 90 as well, 4 stars, some scrolls, some enlight enlightenment on her because she does more healing. And now I have Brody as a tank, as you guys can see. Now I have HP percentage and defense percentage here because I want him to be the main tank. He's gonna be the one taking more damage. and. This time I'm going to use the attack aura because I don't have any other option. But again, if you are using another DPS, I'm sure this is going to be even easier for you. So let's have a look to this fight and see how this goes. So here you go. 
the first wave and this one should be not so easy like the other one but they will take around the same time so this will be just fine so now we have that guy taking all the damage he doesn't have the um, Gary's help anymore and Nida doing uh, really good damage as well then this guy all right first wave is done we go to the second one i think sometimes this one is more tricky but with a good pos position of your heroes they will be healed by um, katrina and they will should be fine another thing in this comp you can replace uh, katrina as well if you want to use a different healer maybe if you have like a legendary uh, with some debuff immunity, you should be fine as well. I mean, always try to use your best heroes and replace them on these builds the best you can. Because these teams I'm showing you, it's like the lowest I can go. Uh, so I'm using 3 rares, 2 epics. If I could use five, uh, 5 rares, then I would do it as well. Because I want to... to I want to show you guys what you can use so in this case you can replace like almost all of them besides the tank okay because the tank is taking damage and also the uh, dispelling those shields and that is the, the most important thing because without those shields we take less time to do this uh, domain and this domain will be really important I mean, we need frost and uh, poison will be a really good element this season, besides fire and radiance. Uh, and so it's important we have a good team to farm this really quick. So with this one, as you guys can see, I have the same timings for Brawly. So he's dispelling the shields. So it's 12.2 and then interval of 18 and don't forget to press the water thing to to in uh, to separate the stages okay so the timing will be resetted every stage so every stage is going to cast this first skill at 12.2 and an interval of 18 because you don't want to reach the boss and use the ultimate before the shield otherwise it will not be useful to use this hero because you are not dispelling the shield so it's going pretty well, I must say. But this time, Brody failed the dispel of the shield. And guys, I have 200 accuracy, you just need 140. So, as you guys can see, sometimes, still with a lot of accuracy, they can miss those dispels or they can miss applying any debuff. So guys, there you go, two good teams, two free to play teams that you can use to farm these on the early stages. So guys, this was the teams I had to show you guys, two free to play teams. I hope this can help you, especially the ones coming from season two and starting season three. This is gonna help a lot because with these teams, they can start farming domain, first domain, stage five from the early stages as the, the moment they can get epic gear and level 90 they can start farming these stages as well and five which is the most important because you want to be more effective as possible with your stamina so if you are farming st stage five you have a bigger chance to get all these materials and more materials which will help you and this way you don't need to farm it so much times to get the same amount of materials that you need guys so I hope you guys like this video, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to my channel if you are not a subscriber yet. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.